Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 5 of Path of Exile, Delirium on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we we're at the end of part 4, and we're going to start this part off with a little bit of playing around with our inventory, because at the end of the last part we were talking about these two sets, Now I want to wear these boots because they have additional speed on them, and the movement speed becomes vital in this game, A, because running around is a big deal, and he's very slow at the minute and 10% 15% makes a big difference just in general moving around and in battles when you try to run away from stuff or you know work around stuff I should say and the gloves are better than what we're wearing by far but we need two sockets of red really <clears throat> than we do anything else so really the problem we've got is there's only one socket in those and they're green uh, or it's green um, there's only two well there's two sockets in that which is fine but one of them is blue and we've got two reds in that one, one of which I think is our Molten Strike. So whatever happens, I don't want to lose Molten Strike, it's my main move. So I definitely want that and I want it with Volley Support. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is... I'm going to try messing around with a few items that we've already got on. Now I think possibly the first one I might try and tinker with is a chest piece. Because if we can get the colours of the chest piece to not be green... <laughs> then that would at least save save us a little bit if what we try to do with these two items doesn't work. I tell you what, we'll do the boots first. We'll do the boots first. Right. So we're going to use two items here. We're going to use... <clears throat> Firstly, on the boots, we're going to use this one, which basically reforges the number of sockets. On the boots, we've only got one. It's green, but we'll try and sort that out after. So we're going to try and reforge, though... Eh, am I better doing the reforging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this first. So... We're going to reforge it. It could be anything. Um, I'm assuming it can't be one again. Meaning that we'll either get two or three. I don't think we can get four at this point. In things. You do get them, but it's later on. So if we now apply that. Excellent. Right, we've got two. The one that I always end up having to waste the most of was this. Because they're very... They become very hard to get, these... It's called a chromatic orb and it recolors the... Yeah, I mean, we've just got a red in those boots. <laughs> what we want is two reds. But there's a high light... Uh, in fact, they're not linked either. God damn it. So it's probably a waste, actually, to put... What have we got on those boots at the minute? We've got Ruthless Support and Ancestral Protector. And in there we've got steel skin, which I'm not really using to be fair. So let's take that off for a second. Let's take the... Oh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to leave the gem in for a sec. Because I want to know what happens if I leave the gem in and try to recolour it. Does it protect the gem? Does... Is it protected because the gem's in it? I don't know. So, we're going to take that. Oh yeah, item sockets are not empty, so I've got to empty them first. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay, let's try it again. You can repeat apply. If you don't want to keep going back, you can hit X and X and X and X until you get what you want. But, you know, I've only got nine of these at the minute. Okay, what's the first go? <laughs> so it's given us exactly the same, but in a different order. I mean, that's what winds me up about it. Pretty sure we had two greens and a red already, and now I've got the same, but in a different bloody order. Aha! Okay. Would have ideally wanted the second red in the... the socket that, that are linked by that line. But I'll take it. I'll take that. I'm not going to waste any more on it. Because we've got a few things that don't need to be linked at the minute. Uh, that being one of them. Leap Slam. Uh, well, Heavy Strike's not actually linked to anything either. So that means that... 
I'm still unable to get ruthless support on Ancestral Protector. Alright, so here's a... <clears throat> okay, come on. Come on, do me proud, do me proud. I'm gonna try and recolour this, because these are all linked. <laughs> That's the same! It's done the same colours again, but in a different order. I mean, it shouldn't be allowed to do that. Ah! Uh, I take it all back. That's fucking awesome. Right. Our new weapon has now got... Uberness on it. Right, so we've got three that can link now. We could put two moves on here and link one support class to it, or vice versa. We could put two things on. Alright, so that's worked out beautifully for us. We're going to put that back on. So, we can now put... In fact, you know what? I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put Molten Strike on my weapon. It doesn't actually matter where you... When I first played this game, I thought that, the, for example, this would have to be in the middle one link in order to get support from the two others. It doesn't matter. As long as they're all in that and they're all linked, it doesn't matter where they are. Uh, that said, I might stick it there anyway, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll put our ancestral support on. And in theory now, we could put another support on of a, of a red. Of which I don't have. Uh, yeah, I do. I've got melee splash support. So we could put melee splash support on there if we wanted to. However, I'm a little bit tempted to put the totem. Uh, what a ruthless support on it, though. But we could put to basically the totem could have that as well with the flames up here. So that's one way to do it. And it shows you when you hover on it. Active skills has got little green ticks against it for Ancestral Protector, Heavy Strike, Marvel Strike. Tells you what you can use it with, which is quite handy. So, let's see if it said the same for... It doesn't tell you when it's in it, unfortunately. But, uh, if we take that out. Take that out for him. Oh my god. <laughs> Taking all the wrong things out, people. Hang on. Hang about. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. That's interesting. Oh, it's because it's the only one I've got equipped. That's why. Right. So if we put Molten Strike back and then come back to the support gem. Molten Strike, Heavy Strike, both supported. If we put... Uh, where's it gone? Oh, I've got Sweep as well. Our new move. Ancestral Protector, if we put that on there, then come back down, it says yes, it supports Ancestral Protector. So we can put Ancestral Core Support on there, and it would support them all. Supports melee strikes, causing them to also strike at extra targets simultaneously. It's just like a double bash. The extra targets must be a minimum distance, yeah. So both our totem and... Yeah, let's put that on there for now. Supports melee attack. Every third... Yeah, so that gets stronger every time it swipes. So I think we'll take that off for a second. Just going to put our new boots on. It's well worth taking time out with this game to do this sort of stuff. If you really want to get the best combinations of stuff, uh, this is how you go about it. As we go on, obviously we're going to change kit. We'll have to do it again. So, the only disappointment is that the boots have only got one red in them, but... And they're not linked. So we could put two moves in those boots, but we couldn't put a support class. You need to, They need to be linked to put a support class on them. So let's take off the gauntlets and the boots both were empty anyway now we could because I've seen a little gem I'll show you where to buy them in a second but I've seen a little blue gem that could help us on the on these gloves so we could save having to do anything here with these put those on 
Um, well, we've got increased critical strike support anyway, which we could use on this. Um, and we could do it on sweep. So if we were to put sweep on our gloves now, we could then put the... And also notice on that blue gem, it says just about fourth down, line down, it says 18 int, which means you need 18 intelligence to use that gem. And if we hadn't gone out of our way to get those extra intelligence points on the passive tree, we wouldn't be able to put this gem on. So that's exactly why I've done it, so that we can mix things up a bit. Okay, so we've now got a supported skills have 50% increased uh, critical strike chance. Supported skills have a plus 1% to critical uh, strike chance. So we've got 50% chance now, better, better chance to get a critical strike when we use the sweep move. Um, and just to confirm that, if we take that off for a second and hover on it, it says, there you go, our little ticks on the left hand side there, it says sweep, green tick. So that means that we can use it with that. We've definitely done the right thing. So happy with the gloves. So it's the boots now. Now there is a there is another another item. I've mentioned it in the previous videos, or maybe the last one one before. But there is another item <clears throat> that you can get over here, and it's got it looks like a little link, and that item will let you add a link, or it lets you forge a link on an item. But it never tells you how many it's going to do. For example, if they were all not linked, it might just put one in. It might put three in. It's all random. But of course, if you've only got two, it will certainly put one in. So um, we'll get those later on. I can't remember. They just started to start dropping, I think. I can't remember exactly how I go about getting them. But these items in the top left here, they're all stacking in order to create other ones of all of these other things. And scrolls. So that's all they are. Mini parts to getting a whole one. And that's what, those are the things you get when you sell items to vendors. So it's all about currency. It's really well, really, really well designed to be fair. So it means that nothing you pick up is pointless because it can all be sold and it can all get you this currency that you have to have. That's why we keep teleporting back to the shops. So in lack of a link shard for want of a better phrase link item we'll keep the boots as they are and what have we got free now well we've still got a blue that we can fill in the helmet actually and we've still got a red that could have a green support gem in it for now um so what do i want to put back on leap slam certainly and we've got melee support yeah melee splash support Attacks enemies with a powerful melee strike. Alright, so I definitely want Leap Slam. And I'd like to give it some form of boost, I think. So we'll put that in the chest piece. And we can put... That's support. Uh, yeah, that's support. That's a support. So we've got Steel Skin and Vigilante Strike left. I think I might put steel skin. Uh, well, I, I'll, I'm not using either of them much. Steel skin, you put it protects you basically for a certain amount of time, soaks up some damage. Let's still have strike on. So we'll stick. Um, well, in fact, I tell you what, we'll put steel. Yeah, we'll put we'll put uh, steel skin in there because we don't really need to put a support on it for the time being. So that means that we have one spot left and. Vigilante strike, I'll have to go on that for now. So we've pretty much got everything else back on, plus our new move. We've just lost ruthless support from one move. That's not the end of the world because we've replaced it with a different support. Well, we've combined it with the same support gem that we're using for Molten Strike. Ancestral support. But as we get more red sockets, we can put those two on. So what I'll do is I'll put those in there for now. And we can probably dump both of those now. Okay, so we've got a green socket that can support a red. 
and we've got a blue socket that can support a red as well, both available. So we might as well see if we can find something that will give us that extra power. So let's come out of there. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, immediately I can see he's running faster. Much better with those boots on. In the tree that we're following down the passive, there's very few things that are going to give us speed. It's really, that's all down the dexterity route, which is more archers and stuff. Okay, so if we speak to Nessa and buy items and go to her next tab, you'll see all the gems that she's got for sale. She's got loads of them. And I spotted combustion support. Supported skills deal 12% more fire damage. Supported skills have a 32% chance to ignite. Enemies ignited by support skills have 11% to fire resistance. Oh, really? It's like a minus... Oh, have minus 11% to fire resistance. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I was going to say, that's not very helpful. Yeah, so that's grand. So we're going to take that one. But this is going to cost us one times orb of transmutation part. By the looks of it. Yeah, we'll go for that. And she seems to have unlimited supply of them as well. It's still there. It's also a level three. So, I'm um, trying to remember what... I, yeah, we've got blind support for the green option. Or we've got chance to flee, not bothered about. Additional accuracy. Um, yeah, volley support's got to be for something that fires projectiles. Onslaught support. Yeah, I've never quite understood the whole onslaught thing. I might go for blind support. Uh, which basically means enemies are going to start missing you, doesn't it, if they're blinded. Or additional accuracy. Supported skills of 127 to accuracy rating. Might be worth it, you know that. What are we putting on? Let's have a look. It's going to go on Leap Slam as it happens. Probably be better suited to something else, but... Uh Now we'll put the we'll put the blind on. We'll, we'll get the blind one. Marvelous. Okay. Right, nearly there, folks. So we're going to put the blue one into there so we're going to have our so that's us put our fire support on heavy strike I wonder if leap slam would have been better for that you know but anyway and we're going to put our blind support on leap slam yeah so when we jump on top of them we've got a chance of blinding some of the enemies that's not a bad setup that folks not a bad setup at all. We've managed to fill pretty much every gem. Socket. Oh, we could have put another move in there. Um, everything's got a support apart from two unconnected pieces. There's not, nothing we can do about that at the minute. And so in theory, we could have another green that's an actual move. But I don't know if there's anything green that's Hello. particularly useful to our setup. Let's have a look. Double strike, well there might be. Double strike. Dual strike. Special throw. Ethereal knives. Fires an arc of knives in front of the caster which deals physical damage. Might be handy. I think I used that with one of my other characters. Probably used a lot of these with other characters to be fair. Some of, the, some of the others. Repost. Perform a deadly counter attack when you block. Bear trap. Shrapnel ballista. Summons a ballista totem that fires multiple arrows. Oh, all right. 
But, um, yeah, I think we can only put one of our totems out at a time. I think there's another skill you need or a linked support gem that lets you put out more. <clears throat> Totem lasts eight seconds. That might be a shout. I do like me totems. Oh, dash. Performs a series of quick teleports towards a targeted location. If using the attack in place option, the direction is reversed. Shares a cooldown with other blink skills. Flicker strike. Teleports the character to nearby monster and attacks with a melee weapon. Smoke mine. Precision. Slashes twice, releasing waves of force that damage enemies they hit. Shield throw is going to need a shield. Shattering steel. Swing an axe or sword, releasing projectiles in sequence. Yeah, I can't use that though because I've not got an axe on, have I? What is ours? Is ours classed as a maul or a, or a mallet? Yeah. Two handed. Oh, it's a mace. It's a two handed mace. So, we need, that's, so you need to watch for that because some of them only work with certain. Okay. Right, let's make a choice, Steve, and I'll get into the action. So there was one that I kind of liked, wasn't there? I'm forgetting what it was now. Oh, the ballista. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take the ballista for now. Gives us another totem. Okay, it looks like it's put it on the right trigger, that. So we've now moved, we've now got, if you look at the bottom right corner, we've got four moves in the first one. And four moves in the second one, and one move in the third one. I'm just trying to see what order they're in. I'm trying to remember how you change the, ah, I know where it is. It's in here, I think. So we're going to put Molten Strike in. You cannot drop that item here. Oh. What? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. We've got a bit of confusion going on here. Okay, yeah, you need to be careful because the, the, the stuff on the left is still active. You just need to use the right stick for this side. Bind skill, there we go. So we're going to have... What's that? That's my standard attack, that's fine. We've got Leap Slam, which was... Yeah, okay, so we'll have Leap Slam top. No, we'll have Leap Slam on B. And then we'll have Ancestral Protector on... I think I'll have a two totems on Y. So that's, oh, that's fine then. Keep that as it is. And then we're going to jump across to Molten Strike. And we'll put that on X. So that's our first tab sorted out. Steel skin. 
shrapnel ballista. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I forgot about sweet. So let's get sweep somewhere sweet on the... I don't think sweeps anywhere, is it? Oh yeah, it's there. That's Leap Slam on the right. Oh, Leap Slam's the same on both things, so... What have we taken off? Oh my goodness, this is confusing. Right, that's me of the totem, or the ballista. It's because it doesn't tell you in words what they are, unless you're actually on them at the top. So you have to keep coming out and going back onto the other ones, doing one at a time. Okay, so we've got Leap Slam, we've got that, we've got Sweep, we've got Ballista, we've got Bolt Strike. Heavy Strike, I think we've just taken off maybe. Yeah. Right, Leap Slam's on both things, that's why. Vigilante Strike is on nowhere by the looks of it. Which leaves Steel Skin for the last one, I think. I think we're there, folks. Okay, I think we've got it, I think we've got it. Bloody hell, that was hard work. <laughs> what the shit? Right. Just sell those two items and then we're good to go, folks. Steve. Mm -hmm. So there's half an hour of uh, how to short, sort your stuff out. Get yourself specced up as best you can, sort out your weapon sockets, all that malarkey. Hopefully that's helped somebody. Give our coins to Navali. Oh, Tarkley's got something for us. I looked away for a minute there. I'm assuming he didn't give us anything. Right, let's crack on. And we are off to a brand new area, people. We are off to chap oh, Act 2, as it happens. A whole new act. It's a whole new act. Southern Forest we're off to. Let's get some action on. Let's see just how well what we've just done works out. <laughs> Watch me die immediately. Mm -hmm. 
Certainly feels a little bit faster. For a big fella, he's quite nimble on his feet, aye. And we should, uh, this is a brand new area and act, so we should get some decent XP here. Start clocking up the level up. Level up and wrap up on it. So far, so good. Kill the chimpanzee Minky. Ooh, orb of augmentation, thank you. Good grief, that was quick. Treasure chest popped up at the bottom left of the screen. I'm not sure what that's all about. Oh, fucking hell, nearly. It seems, though, uh, I think I made a bit of a boob there, actually. Seems to be quite safe. I think... Whatever the thing I thought was a totem, I think it might not be a totem. I think it might be... Uh... Where did I put it? So I'm... Where is it? Oh, it's the green one. No, it's the blind one. Steel skin. God's sake. Shrapnel ballista. There, it's there. Requires level 16 and 41 decks, which we've got. Place into item socket. Of the right colour to gain this skill, it cannot be. It can be removed at any time. Does it say requires a blah? Can't see that it does. Oh wait a minute! Attack, projectile, totem, physical, but no. Attack, projectile, totem, physical, bow. Yeah, it should. It should work. That I don't know why I can't use it for some reason. I wonder if it doesn't say you need to be a bow, but it doesn't do anything. When I click on it, nothing happens. Alright, we'll live with it for now. It's a bit annoying. Thought I had a second totem and I don't. Love that music's changed to the environment, isn't it?
He's a big fella. Stone hammer. Well, I think all the moves we've bought are paying off nicely, people, apart from that one ballista. I don't know what's going on with that. Start to see some different items dropping in this section. Nothing that I'm too excited about picking up yet, but things are mixing up a bit. Yeah, see, they're all linked on that one, aren't they? We had what we had one that wasn't linked, didn't we? Yeah. So in theory, we could pick that up, try and change the colours on it, and swap well and upgrade it to a a yellow. <clears throat> Well, would you believe the one way I didn't go was the one way we're meant to, which is ideal. And I believe we're about to get another centre, another hub. Like Lion Eyes Watch, but in the woods. So let's pick up that. The Forest Encampment. Here we are, central hub. Well, somebody's been out shopping. <laughs> the state of that. Right, we've got a few people to speak to here. <clears throat> What's Navali saying to it? And so your path leads you here, exile. Be careful where you step. For as one foot leads the other, so too does each foot leave its mark. A trace of what was, a guide to what will be. I travelled here through death's darkened halls, walking the paths of the remembered. I am but a memory of the woman I was. A memory treasured and sustained by the mother of death. Yes, very good. Right. Just jot down all these people's names before we go on. Yina is the one I'm missing. Couldn't see them all on camera while I was chatting to her. But we need to chat to them all. Beastmaster. Oh, Einhar. It's a fitting name, to be fair, Beastmaster. Right. 
Let's do Groist first. I am Groist. Oh, Groist, sorry. Hunt to feed my people. If you are not a friend to us, you need to run faster than more. You're not a friend, comrade. You be gone. I've seen many an exile come and go, into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. Different good, different bad, it's hard to tell at this stage. The name is Eremir. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath. And with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. Okay. So we've got three bandits to sort out, all in different locations, basically. Yina! I am Yina, Keeper of the Spirit. Are you a kind exile, like Eremir? He is good to us, helps us. You will stay and help us too. A beast hunts us in her dreams. A great white beast, Oof. tortured and maddened by bad men. A long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush, and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. Got a few quests already. Silk so saying to it. You and me, we are the same. We dream big. We find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learn the words, the ways of Oriath. You listen to me, and not pigheads like Grust. Then you will live to find more new places. The road, it runs east and west of here. To the west it passes the abandoned woman's camp, then turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked. I have seen a strange thing in the rock by that south pass. Like one of Grust's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be opened again. Okie doke. Right, I think we've covered all the quests that we're going to get from there. Beastmaster time. That look in your eye. I recognize it. A survivor, just like Aina. That is my name, Exile, Aina. In my native tongue, it means lone fighter. That is what Aina was for many years. But it is dangerous now to fight alone. Too dangerous, even for the mighty Aina. We are in the final days of this world, Exile. Of that, I am sure. We survivors must unite, prepare for the end, and delay its arrival as long as we can. For that, we will need supplies, weapons. Okay. Right, what to do first? Good grief. Well, we should sell our stuff. Who's the shop? Is it Groot? I am Groot. What troubles you bring now? No, what troubles you bring now? I bring goods. Let's just sell all this guff. Might try and do something with that top. Uh, that belt might be of some use. It's a level 13, and the one we've got on is a level 4. So we'll keep that as well. Identify! Plus 30 to strength. Good grief. Uh, hmm. There's a lot of resistances on the new one. We had global physical damage on the one we've got on. 
reflects two damage back to melee attackers. Cold resistance, fire resistance, maximum mana. 12% increased flask charge gained. All oh, right, that's pretty good. Yeah, why not? Stick it on. It's more manly as well. <laughs> With a little sash. Right. So, let's go to our... The stash is always... It doesn't matter where you are. This stash will have our stuff in it. Quite the collection of jewellery I'm picking up. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and change the colours of this first. We've only got five of these left. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was going to go all green. One more try and then it's done. Yeah, fuck it. The chances are it'll give me two blues and a green. The problem is it's not... I think part of the problem is it's not really built for our kind of build. It's really built for a... A mid, medium armor character, really. Because we'd need it to turn two reds for a card. One more go. Two blues. Oh, <laughs> no, it's exactly the same in a different order. So we've just wasted three of those. Fucking hell, fire. Right. Alright, it's getting, uh. Getting dark. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll stick it in here. I just want to try again later. Pick up some more. What do you want? What do you want? That really winds me up, people. Like, how can it rejig it and give you the two of the same, the three same things you had before? Why? That's what winds me up about it. Anyway, we got one good clock out of it, and it was that one. Okay, well that's going to the old fields. And that's going to the riverways. I think we'll go to the old fields first. So the western, if, if we're facing north, that would be west, probably. And that would be east. The western forest. Well, the wetlands, you would think, near the riverways, maybe? We'll go this way. Eh, no, hang on, because I said that was west, didn't I? So I think two might be there. We'll go this way first. Good grief, who put me in charge? This is creepy in here, isn't it? You see that burning coming off of that support put on. Um, eh, I'm saying that. Glorious! <laughs> Gotta level up, people. We've already got nearly half a bloody bar again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Whoa, 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 it's magic!
Holy shit, what's all that? Hypnotic collar writhing talisman. Beast charm writhing talisman. Pandemonium choker bone spire talisman. Jeweler's orb. Holy feck, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Actually, I'll pick those up as soon as they're blue. We need to try and find out where the... Where was all the stuff up? Was that... I seem to go on a bit of a random path there. There's probably loads of drops lying around everywhere. I did grab some of it while we are on with it, though. Right, we've got a point to spend, and oh god, I'm trying to remember what I said yesterday now. <sighs> I think we decided to come down. Yeah, because I found two other places, didn't I? Where there was, yeah. There was another 20 dexterity and intelligence in that one socket. And then there was some armor over here. That's what, yeah, that's what it was. Oh no, that's shield. So it must have been... Two-handed melee damage and stun duration, so that's well worth it. Life and armour. There we go. Yeah, that was the plan. That was the plan. Right, so we're going to come down this way. Plus six percent increased global reaction, uh, accuracy rating. Ten percent increased tr critical strike chance. That's life. That's life. Everybody says. Plus ten to strength. Ten percent increased maximum life. Plus twenty to maximum life. But we're going to go this way first and get those two dexterity and intelligences. Not that we're desperate for them, but it's way better to have those first. I think. I'll have another level up shortly and we'll get that. We're already halfway there. In the words of Bon Jovi. Alright, that's where we came in. I never did get the this bit of the map done though. Let's work the grid people. Ha! Ah, the den! Do we do it now, or do we do a bit more of this? How much of it? Well, we've not done much of that, have we? So if it does wipe out, it's not a big problem. Let's do the den. What lies in this dark place? Spiders? What? What are the chimpanzee minkies doing down here?
easy. Engineer's Orb, take one of them. Darkwood Scepter. Get some good items from those things now. I think it's all determined on possibly how much you're killing in the time it's given. Take that, because that's going to give us one of our gems when we sell it. For changing the colours. Rude not to people. Five percent increased sack speed is a bonus anyway. Ten percent increased global accuracy. Twenty percent increased critical strike chance, and plus twenty to dexterity and intelligence. Lock it in. Awesome. So we're now on seventy-four intelligence and eighty-seven dex. It's not bad, eh? Not bad at all. 144 for strength, which is what we want. We want the strength to be right up there. Gauntlets with three sockets on. 28 armor though. They're all linked as well. It's a dead end, I tell you, it's a dead end. It's where this movement speed is so... just takes the frustration away, because the quicker you can move around the maps, the better. Ah, 
That white beast is not lasting long. Goodbye. Two-handed bastard sword. It's quite sweet, isn't it? It's only got one socket on it. This. God damn it. Oh, it's because it was green, wasn't it? That's why I picked it up. I cannot carry this. What? Are you sure? I'm not going to use that, but it get me a few points when it. I'll tell you what, let's dive back. Let's sell some shiz, people. Make it fast. Oh, yeah, I've got these orbs. Improves the quality of a strong box. Okay. Sell, 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 sell. Greater mana plus. Same, same, innit? The talisman looks good. I thought I got a couple of talismans. Oh yeah, I did. Down there. Corrupted. All oh, right, the corrupted ones. Can't remember what the whole corrupted thing means. Like, is there a major deficit to? Wearing them, or can I not wear them? I'm not sure. What do you want? Okay. Just leave the rest. And the old fields. Found somewhere else. What? 
What's happening, people? Have I just come out of a different entrance? Is that what it is? Yeah, I can't go back in where I came out, can I? So we just come back to where we started, I think. Well, to be fair, we have... Yeah, we've killed the, the Great White Beast, so we need to go and turn that in. We just forgot to do it. Onward. Okay, the cross... <laughs> Right, I feel like I want to do this area before I go doing any more. remembered something I did want to buy actually off of Nessa. She had a a support gem that was life on kill. Although life on hit would be better. Helmet looks awesome, doesn't it? Barbu helmet. Well, it's a bit head chopper, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of blues kicking around this bit. this. Oh, what was the nice shoes we picked up? Well, there's the helm. It's all greens again. 110 armor. Shit me. Reflects three physical damage to melee attackers, seven increased stun and block recovery. Regenerate 1.4 life per second. Yeah, that's quite handy. 9% increased armor, plus 95 to accuracy rating. Uh, the boots are better in just about every way as it happens. And we could put a blue support gem on that instead of having the the green one that doesn't actually work anyway. I can't remember where the waypoint is in here. Because if it's close by, there's no point wasting a scroll. Oh. Not visible anymore, is it? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I bet 
the boots don't have a, the boots don't have the speed on them. That's why I'm not going to want to put them on. Yeah, ten percent movement speed, which those don't have. God damn it! <laughs> Ironically, they've got a better evasion rate. You think they would be faster? Yeah, I mean, you know, you notice the difference when you take them off. Certainly a little bit, anyway. Well, we could put heavy strike in there. God's sake. Really? So we've not lost anything by putting the helmet on, but it would be nice to get some of those sockets freed up for reds, blues even. you bring. I'm going to keep those just in case the movement speed <laughs> gets on my nerves. All right, let's see if let's see if we get any sort of luck with the colors. Let's see what happens. Give it a go. Can't do it while they're equipped. Well, let's put the red in the one place we didn't want it. Well, that would work. Two reds, one of which is linked. Overly sure, does guys sell? No, it's not all wanted. Does he sell gems? No, it's the might be one of these around here. We'll speak to Yina anyway, because we've killed the white beast, haven't we? The white beast spirit is at rest. No more pain. Take this in thanks from me and from the suffering animal that you have helped. That's very kind of you, thank you very much. Well, that's a uber quicksilver flask, which I don't think we've got. Some of it. Mind you, that said, the mana flasks aren't great either. Greater, but not using the quick. Uh, 
probably more of a chance of a, a good mana dropping for us though, isn't it? I'll take that. I might just belts as well. 16% increased global damage, physical damage, plus 33 to strength. Hmm. What have we got at the minute? Plus 30 to strength. Maximum mana, 12% increased flash charges gain. Oh, that's uh, that's the one we've got on. Yeah, so it's better in every way. 15% fire resistance, lightning resistance, 17%. Increased stun duration on enemies, reflects 3% on the enemies. It's a better one, that. Good choice, Stephen. The spirit hunts with you. Uh, okay, it's not her that sells them. Oh, hello. She does sell... Uh, those are the ones I was talking about. Those ones change the links between the sockets. Orb of fusing. Reforges the links between sockets on an item, but it doesn't... It's random, like the colouring is. Costs four jeweler's orbs. How can I help? Ah. I could have sworn somebody sold gems here. Maybe not. Maybe I have to go back to what's up. What troubles you bring now? Yeah, it looks like we have to go back to Nessa. As it happens. Uh, did mm. Southern Forest? Oh, okay, yeah, we've not found the waypoint, have we? So we need to go back, really, before we do anything else. We've not lost anything as it happens. We've just got a helmet with nothing in them. if you can actually clear one. Oh, Sam, look at that. Not far from another level up now.
It's like everything I don't want has, has got nice three nicely linked sockets on them. <laughs> Looking like a right beast now with that helm on. I thought there was different sizes you could do with this. Map in the middle. Easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. For some reason I thought you could make the map sort of bigger and smaller. It might be in the settings, you can make it sort of 50% or something. God's sake. I'm obsessed with that button. It looks like the crossroads is the only place to go then. It must be, the crossroads I'm thinking of must be where the waypoint is. Just a bit. Didn't last long, didn't he? I've just about stood up. Thank you, my ancestors. Oh, glorious!
Nice. Well, we've got the waypoint. And we got a level up. Well, I think, as we're approaching the hour and a half mark, I think uh, probably not, as well not discovering this whole area. We've got the waypoint, so we can come directly back to the crossroads now. So, let's get back and sell our beats. We've got loads to discover here, because we've got these two sections coming off the crossroads. Three sections. And then we go the other direction from the home bit. We've got another three over here. Pretty sure this is all for selling. What? Reforges a rare item with new random modifiers. Nice. What do you want? Oh, increased movement speed, would you believe it? Yeah, no, nowhere near as good as the ones we've got on. Make it fast. What do you want? No, I don't want you. Go away. good to go I think so we might try well we've got one link we can do that's so annoying uh, I don't want to waste another color thing trying to get it because I might lose a red and end up with two bloody greens again such a good helmet though Well, I'll tell you what, before we finish up, let's dive to Nessa. Name support. Spell totem support. Uh, well, I suppose we could have the... Additional accuracy or blind support. But I've already got blind on uh, the jump attack, but Glacial Hammer. Hits enemies, converting some of your physical damage to cold damage. 
If an enemy is frozen and is on less than one third of life, they will shatter when hit. I've not used the swipe yet, have I? I think ground slam is pretty good as well. Staff axe or mace or scepter creating a wave that travels forward and damages enemies. Might be worth trying. Performs a melee attack and causes lightning to strike a target location or nearby enemy, dealing damage in an area. God's sake, so much to choose from. Summons a totem that can consume nearby corpses if they are hurt. It will destroy a corpse to leech life to you. Summons a totem that taunts nearby enemies to attack it. <gasps> flame totem. Might do flame totem. Have it. So what can I do to support Flame Totem? It's not going to tell me actually until I equip it, is it? Let's come out a sec. Easy. So we'll put Flame Totem in there. Yes. So what green can I use to support that? Oh. Oh, that does work actually. Yeah, volley support. Support skills that fire projectiles from the user. Oh, from the user. Does not affect projectiles fired from other locations as secondary effects. So why is it supporting Holy Flame Totem then? It's got a tick next to it. I'm gonna try it anyway because it it's got a little tick next to it. It's the only thing that's ticked on the top left. Holy flame totem. Supported skills fire two additional projectiles. Yeah, so they're, presumably it's going to be more flame. Supported skills deal 10% less projectile damage, but it's doing twice as many. Sorry, I'm very quiet, it's because I'm reading the descriptions. Okay, um, let's try it, let's try it. It's that or Onslaught, but I'm still not sure what Onslaught does. At the very least, I've got a new totem, one way or the other. One way or the other. We've still got room for another red, but I think we had some reds in our chest. Ruthless support. Oh, I had ruthless support, actually. Doesn't support that. Doesn't support that. Got rejuvenation token twice there. We've got heavy strike, which isn't in use, but I don't know if I'd use it. Glacial Hammer. Ground Slam was the other one, wasn't it? Let's take a bit of... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, Ground Slam. And what was that one I was talking about? Yeah, man. Life Gain on Hit. I'd love to fit that in somewhere.
I'm a little bit tempted to put ancestral call support. Oh, that's just mud. What have I done here? Ancestral protector in another socket so that I could put that life gain on hit with molten strike, which I use a lot. But to, to do it, I would need to lose the... Yeah, I'd need to lose the support for the totem, but I think we could live with that. Let's take that away. Put it in there for now. I'm going to put the life gain on hit support in here. So we'll get life back to us every time we're hitting something with Molten Strike. Check that it's supported. Yes, Molten Strike, green tick. Okay, great. We don't have a free socket now anyway for what we just bought. <laughs> but we could... Oh, we're using Heavy Strike. And Vigilante Strike, which I don't seem to be using at all. So if I take that out and put it there, put a ground slam in here. Is ground slam supported by? Ground slam is supported by combustion support, so we'll get flame when we hit. Yeah, lovely. All right, good to go, people, I think. Sorry, a little bit more uh, slow pace toward the end there. But, uh... Got a point to spend still as well. We've got... Uh... Hang on a minute, where's... Oh, Ground Slam, there it's there. Ground Slam! It's B on the second one. That's good, actually. Because Leap Slam's on B, and then Ground Slam's on B as well on the trigger. Stick with that, I think. Holy flame to oh yeah yeah of course. I was putting my totems in the top ones though, wasn't I? Okay, that's that sorted. Yeah, I think we're good. Right, I just put my points in. What was the one over here? Plus 20 to maximum life, increase maximum life, and plus 10 to strength. Yeah, I might head toward that first, actually, because that's got the regenerate 1.8% of life per second. So I might go straight for that. That one was 6% increased global accuracy rate and 10% increased critical strike. Okay, well, a little bit of a slow end, but we're prepped for the next part. So we've got an empty inventory and we can teleport straight back to where we were. In fact, we'll do that before we finish up. Yeah, crossroads. Well, we'll go back to home, actually. We'll get the crossroads from there. Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. We've done quite a lot in the... But as the game goes on, you need to do more and more of what I'm doing there with the weapons and sockets and all sorts. So there you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Path of Exile Delirium on the Xbox One X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.